This is Kenyon from Little Giant Ladder Systems. Today we're going to demo the leveler. The leveler, as the name implies, has leveling legs, which is one of my favorite features of this ladder, but it's not the only thing that the leveler can do. There are only a few moving parts, easy to use, easy to set up, easy to store. Let's go to the hinge. To create the shape of the ladder, simply squeeze in the palm button of the hinge. You can do that with your fingers, you can do that with the palm of your hand. Bringing that both into the stored position, into the A-frame, and then ultimately into the extension ladder position. One of the only other moving parts of the leveler are the rapid locks. As we rotate the rapid lock 90 degrees, that simply takes a metal pin and pulls it out of the inner section of the ladder. Just rotate that. Always making sure that the rapid locks are fully seated, locked into place for your safety. Now the sections of the leveler can be telescoped in one foot increments. I can bring that to one foot taller, two feet taller, or depending on the size of leveler that you have, multiple sizes. The rapid lock is spring assisted, so make sure that you lock that into place. But if for any reason we misalign that metal pin, you rotate that over that hole and it will lock into place. Make sure that that's completely locked before using the ladder. We do the same thing over here on the opposite side of the ladder. Rotate that rapid lock, bring it up into its taller position as needed. Now you have multiple sizes of an A-frame or step ladder without the spreader bar to get in the way. This allows the leveler to be placed over fences, rose bushes, even furniture in the home because the hinge does that work for you. Also, the leveler carries a 300 pound weight capacity. That's a type 1A OSHA and ANSI certification. And because the leveler is double-sided, it's 300 pounds on each side at the same time, only in the A-frame configuration. Of course, the sides of the leveler are independent from each other. So simply offsetting one side shorter than the other would allow me to create what's called a 90 degree position. We're simply climbing up this side. Now we're square next to walls, windows, hedges, whatever we might need to get next to, but we don't want to lean the ladder against. So we're still freestanding. Again, this is the side that we're climbing and we're right up next to the work. To create a ladder that works on unlevel terrain, whether it's a porch, staircases, now we can adjust the side of the ladder a little bit shorter or a lot shorter than the other to compensate for those extremely unlevel surfaces. That's why people have bought little giant ladders for nearly 50 years to be able to tackle work in the middle of a staircase. Now we're gonna create the extension ladder position. Simply bring the ladder back into its stored position. We're gonna simply unlock the hinge bring it into its extension ladder position. We do this on either the floor or the ground and notice that I've prepared the leveler so that the leveling legs will be on the bottom of the ladder, the wheels will be on the top of the ladder. Don't get that wrong, that's for your safety and so that you can take advantage of those leveling legs. We'll show you those in just a second. With the ladder prepared on the floor or the ground, now we're going to create the length or the height that we might need, depending on what the job requires. Unlock the rapid locks, just like we did in the A-frame configuration, and telescope the legs to be the length or the height for the job. We can do that on both the top and the bottom of the ladder. Now I'm going to place the bottom of the ladder against the edge of a building. By placing the bottom of the ladder against something solid, now hand over hand, I can bring the ladder up into its upright position. Once it's in the vertical position, now I can pull the ladder away from its leaning surface 
creating that four to one ratio or 75 degree angle that we would always recommend. Now this is where the leveler really shines. I've put a brick here to simulate any kind of unlevel surface. That could be unlevel terrain, a hillside, a slope, even a curb or where your flower beds might be. When we have a ladder on unlevel terrain, it's tempting to put rocks and bricks, pieces of wood underneath the ladder, but that wouldn't be safe. So with the leveler, Being able to extend that leg up to seven inches of adjustment on the right side and another seven inches of adjustment on the left side because there's another leveler built in there. Now the work is safer because we've created a firm level surface that everybody needs underneath their ladders. To retract the leveler, simply squeeze the housing and bring that leveler back up into its storage position. To bring the ladder down, we'll just reverse the process by putting the ladder down here at the bottom of the base or the wall that we've leaned the ladder against and hand over hand, walking the ladder back, flipping the ladder over and bringing these legs back into their storage position. Squeeze the palm buttons until the hinge unlocks and bring the ladder into either the A-frame or back to our storage position. Now take advantage of the wheels that are pre-installed by being able to roll the ladder through the home or through the next job site. Like other multi-purpose ladders that Little Giant makes, the leveler can be separated into two separate trestles. Of course, there's a whole family of accessories that are compatible with the leveler ladder to get even more safety, more use out of your system. And you can find all those details in the description below. We would love to hear your comments, your questions, your feedback in the comment section, and click that subscribe button, turn on your notifications so that you can stay current on all things Little Giant as we create innovation for the leveler and other Little Giant products. And a few quick reminders, of course, choose the right ladder for the job, set it up correctly, maintain three points of contact when you're climbing up and down any ladder. This is the leveler by Little Giant Ladder Systems.